What is this? My name is Burke and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And I'm starting off the morning at Craptastic Sam's, AKA Plaza Thrift. Got my trusty keys with me. So we're gonna head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. And hopefully we can get some vintage toys out of here. We'll probably make a couple other pit stops along the way and see what kind of vintage goodness we can find. I'll see you inside. Oh my God, I'm here. Dang. I think that's still Imperial Star Destroyer set. I think that might be. Oh, okay. It's not, uh, I thought it was like a Lego set or something like that. It's like, um, it is sealed. It's good. It's like a paper, paper, paper set, <laughs> a paper model. All right, we got that. And then we got, looks like Slave One. And the Boba Fett Starfire. That's Slave One. That's Slave One, bitches. It'll always be Slave One and Imperial Light Cruiser set. All right. Well, they want 20, 25 bucks a piece for those. So I'll see how much they're actually going for first. All right, well, unfortunately, they're only selling for about 20 bucks. So I'm gonna pass on those. We got the Dorothy Barbie, she's still here. So is Glinda the Good Witch. Looks like a whole lot of nothing else. Okie dokie. What's this? Is this like something Avengers or something like that? SWAT vehicle missing a ton of stuff. Hmm. Well, there's nothing on the shelves. What's this octopus looking thing? Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's actually real cool. I like that. <laughs> He's a uh, kind of monster looking. All right, I'm gonna look into this to see what this is. This might be like one of those Treasure X deals. Kind of reminds me of that, but we'll see. What do we got here? We got a bag full of cowboys and Indians. They look old. Plus we got some Lincoln Logs in there. I don't have any Lincoln Logs in any of my toy collection. Hmm. This pirate looking dude. Uh, $2.92 for the bag. I'll think about it because those little cowboys and Indian figures sometimes can be worth money. Well, we got more over here. More Lincoln Logs, more cowboys and Indians. This one actually has like a roof for your cabin. Those are the types of plastic cowboys and Indians I had as a kid. What do we got here? Looks like we got a Batman figure. Some sort of SpongeBob like puzzle looking thing. Like a wind up squirrel toy. Sylvester the cat. Yeah, the other thing that I'm really mainly interested in is that Batman, but I think I'll pass on it. We got a minion. We got a cyborg. Some Mickey D's toys. Oh, check it out. We got a couple of Robo Sapiens over here. All right, well, I just found an entire lot of these guys and the whole lot had 48 pieces in it and it sold for $4.99. So, I'm going to leave these here for someone else. All right, store number one, busted. I think we'll go hit up a goodie wheel next. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we're at the goodie wheel, baby. What you got for me today, goodie wheel? What you got for me today? Check this out. 
Look at that, somebody TP'd this tree. They toilet papered it. Oh man. I bet you that is like horrible trying to get that type of stuff out of the tree. They'll probably just leave it up there forever. All right, let's see what we can find in here. Well, well, well. Let's see what we got today. Got ourselves an old pirate. Pirate gun. <laughs> pirate gun. Is that what you would call that? A pirate gun? It's a flintlock. That's what it is. It's an old flintlock. All right. Okay. Let's see. Anything down this way? Construction helmet. It's just like an old mailbox or something. Yeah, I ain't seeing jack squat. How about over here in Plushville? Be nice to find like a My Pet Monster in here one time. Oh, we got like a trapper keeper. Oh, it's got somebody's homework assignment in it. Harrison Munder and Tatiana Terranova, maybe? Formula, what is the expected data or how, what do you need to first do to write, I'm sorry, first to do or know the expected data? That's, mm -hmm. not, even, that's not even a good sentence. <laughs> the chi squared test. All right. That's the, is this the crap they're teaching our kids in school? Right, what else we got here? Oh, looks like some big old markers down there. Oh, here's a Candyland game still sealed. Or is that a, like a puzzle? No, it's a game. It's just like a little mini game. All right, guys, I think we're gonna get busted here. I'm gonna check out this box. Is this like a band box or something like that? Eh, it's really crusty inside. Nasty. Door number two. Busted. <laughs> Gotta get a harder thumb line. All right, let's go hit up uh, Support Your Troops Resale. And we'll pop into St. Vinny's. Hopefully they don't open till 11. It's like 10.30. So we'll hit that up. And then we'll hit up the thrift store. And maybe call it a day there. We'll see. All right, guys, I'll see you. See you shortly. All right, gang, we're at the resale shop, the uh, Support Your Troops resale. It's right over here by this tree. So uh, I haven't really found anything in here. The last thing I found here was that Cobra bat, like the big, like 12 inch Super 7 Cobra bat, which I paid like basically retail price for it. So, uh, but it was cool just to see it here in the store. It was a little cheaper than what you could get it for online, but let's see what they got in here today. These little Easter things here. It's kind of cute. Weird, but cute. We got a Disney Lego set. Where's this from? Uh, 2021. It looked older. We got this Easter beach ball. What are we got over here? Oh, we got lots of, uh, what are they called? The uh, Activision uh, Skylanders. Lots of Skylanders and some games and stuff. I got this cute little Easter display over here with the baskets. And looks like we got some toys out on the table over here. What do we got? What's this thing back here? NXS Racers. racetrack toy and what's this oh. 2016 all right I'll check on that that's kind of cool and then what do we got over here blockheads well it turns out these are only selling for about six to ten bucks they want three for it which is a good price 
but uh, I'm gonna leave it here for somebody else. What's this? A bunch of car parts. Oh, is that uh, some sort of like Django Fett figure? I don't know what that is. What's this down here? We got a school bus. I think that's probably from the movie Cars. And we got this dino guy over here. But I'm not really seeing anything else. What is this? Look at that. We found us a vintage St. Patty's Day Smurf. March is coming up. St. Patty's Day, any more Smurfs in here? Well, looks like he might be the only one. Let's grab him. Oh, hey guys. She just gave them to me for free. At first she was like, oh, just a dollar. I was like, all right, well, let me run out to my car and get some change because I didn't want to use my card for a dollar. Because last time she gave me something for a dollar, I was going to use the card. And she's like, oh, don't worry about it because I'm gonna, it's going to charge us fees on top of it. And it's not worth it. So just just take it. So I, I forget what it was, but I took it. But anyway, with this, I was like, well, run, run, let me run out to the car and get my change. She's like, oh, don't worry about it just get me next time so she's like you can have it for free but if you want to add a dollar next time around you can do that so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna give her a dollar next time i pop in here an extra buck so but how cool was that we got ourselves a saint patty's day a vintage saint patty's day smurf man the crazy thing is he was just sitting in that little bucket and i just happened to look down it was in there with all the cups and stuff like that so he was uh I was lucky, I was lucky. I was four leaf clover lucky to find him. Super awesome, I do love me some Smurfs. All right, gang, up next, let's wrap around the corner of the building here and hit up St. Vinnie de Paul. All right, we're at St. Vincent's. I have scored some vintage goodness out of here. My keys are like, <laughs> look, my keys are stuck to my pocket. There we go. All right. I have scored some vintage out of here before, but it's been a little while. Hopefully today is our day. Going up here. It's like a cigar box, a little fire truck. Here's like a little bag of toys. What's in here? Uh, just some Mickey D stuff. All right, let's go check the stuff in the back. Oh, here's another fire truck. Or actually it's a fire boat. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What do we got? There's a canteen. I like the uh, I like the cover here that it comes with. It might actually, what should I say, Activision on it. Huh, I wonder if that's old. No, maybe not. I forgot, like every time I think Activision, like I think like, Atari type of thing or something like that, Atari games, you know? But uh, that's a neat canteen. I do like it. What are they asking for it? A buck 39? I think we might grab it for that. What's this down here? Some sort of metal ball. Stopper. <laughs> so it turns out this is a Call of Duty canteen. And uh, I guess it's got this little thing here that you can put, satchel it to your side if you want. But it doesn't have like the traditional like belt loop straps, you know? Hmm, let me
mean, it's only a buck thirty-nine. It's kind of neat, though, right? All right, yeah, I'm gonna get it. All right, I picked it up and I got it for a dollar because everything was like thirty percent off in there today. So I got it for a dollar five with tax. I've got a canteen, man. This is like for when the apocalypse happens, you know? The new when the new world order tries to take over. I'm gonna have something to drink water out of when I'm on the run, you know? Running from, you know, the uh, the evildoers. <laughs> so this car is like coming in behind me, coming in hot. All right, guys, let's go hit up the thrift store next. We're here, the thrift store. All right, so let's head in here. Let's check this glass case. Let's check the shelves, rummage through some bags. Let's have some fun. Let's score some vintage toys. We got a Star Wars figure, Bend and Flex Spider-Man. We got some die cast cars. We got die cast here and die cast here. And there's a Miles Morales. Some more die cast. All right, there's really nothing here. There's some cool stuff, but nothing I really want. Let's go check the shelves. What's down here? Oh, we got a Flash. Wolverine. We got Thor. We got Batman. Oh, look at this guy. How much they want for him? Seven dollars. That is just ridiculous. We got this guy. And then they want 15 bucks for him. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, you're talking over $20 for those two figures. Screw that. Maybe some Fortnite. That's, uh, isn't that that General Plasma or something? Oh yeah, here's a uh, Deadpool. And then we got this big Chewy that you would think would be worth something, but isn't. Lots of DC Marvel stuff there. There's Green Goblin. Uh, maybe Ant-Man. Not exactly sure who that is. This is like Blue Iron Man. Here's the Incredibles car. I don't know what the heck this thing is. It's big though. Oh my God, this guy is still here. I think they even lowered the price on him. It weighs 10 bucks. No, they did not lower the price on him, but man, he's been here for almost like two months now. Oh, here's another one of those silver, black and silver Spider-Man. I only, I've only ever seen one other of these and I bought it like not too long ago. I've got a big rubber Stegosaurus. Not exactly sure which Spider-Man that is. And it looks like we might have a Hall of Justice playset. Yeah. That's a different Batman. And we got Hulk. I like the face sculpt on that Hulk. And Shazam is still here. We saw him the other day. All right, well, let's rummage through these bags and see if there's any vintage goodies in here. Well, there's some sort of Flash figure. It's got like this big hole. It's like a mold or something like that. I don't know. Let's see what what's this guy? Like some sort of keychain. Got some dino bones and some junk. What is this bag? Some sort of construction set. Oh yeah, I think this is, I think I've seen this. Isn't this from like Spawn or something like it, this Cobra? I remember seeing him in Walmart or Target or something a few years back. Oh, we got some Final Faction, the X4 turret on card. And some other Dollar Tree toys. Oh, what's this? It's uh, some sort of Intellivision instruction book for a baseball game. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if the uh, Intellivision game is in here somewhere. All right, gang. The only thing we got out of there was this Intellivision Major League Baseball like instruction book. I just went up to the counter and I said, "Hey, 
can I just have this? It's just a piece of paper. And she just kind of looked at me and she nodded her head. So I took it. <laughs> so I, I got it. It's uh, just, uh, just an instruction manual. That's all it is. But uh, I think it's kind of neat. It's definitely vintage. It's actually from 1979. But check that out. Oh, is it like for a little handheld game? Huh, that's interesting. It's like for a, yeah, it's a handheld game, I think. I wonder, like, I was looking for a different type of game. I wonder if this is like sitting on a shelf in there somewhere. I might have to go back in just to check the electronic section and see. See, I thought it might have been like, oh, so there is like a main console and then that plugs into the main console. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I might actually head back in there real quick just to look in the electronic section to see if I can find something like this. Oh, so this is overlay to throw the ball to any defensive player. Oh, so this is like a card that you would shove down in here to overlay it on top of the number so you know what you're doing. So eight would be to pitch. And then if you wanted to throw at the first base, you would hit like nine, I guess, maybe, right? Oh, that's interesting. All right, yeah, I'm gonna head back in there real quick. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I might find something in this section here. I'm really not seeing anything, but I'll give it a good once over. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get lucky. She just put out these glasses here, these Disney glasses. There's one with Tinkerbell and Pinocchio and Dumbo. Oh, there's a Buzz Lightyear back there. All right, no luck. So let's go hit up the Goody Wheel. We'll finish our adventure up there today and see what kind of goodies they got. Well, we're here. Final destination of the day, the Goody Wheel. My beard was like, I felt like I was all sticking out for a second. Hey, what you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage. And we did score some vintage today. We scored a vintage Smurf, St. Patty's Day Smurf. So that was pretty awesome. So hopefully we can get some more in here. Some more vintage toys. Let's check it out. What do we got over here? Ultimate slimy goop. We got some roller blades, boys and girls. And we got an ultimate baking set. Some little orphan Annie plates. We saw this here the other day. This uh, Winnie the Pooh train set, Christmas train set thing and the big middle finger. <laughs> Let's go check the toys. Here we go. Our last chance to score today. It's a cool, cool Zord. Oh, here's a Bowser. Looks like he might have like shot something out of his mouth. You got a big old construction play set, a basketball hoop. But I ain't seeing no cool toys. Just this headless baseball figure with headless and armless. Oh, there's his head. Damn kids busting shit up. All right, well, nothing there. Let's see, is there anything over here? Anything that's gonna get the jazz flow in the day? Hmm. Doesn't look like it, doesn't look like it. That banana. Oh, we got a high school musical trapper keeper thing. It's not a trapper keeper though. Look at that big old train set. The Christmas Magic Express. All right, y'all, busted. But we still had fun today and we scored some vintage toys. Anytime you can score a vintage Smurf from the 1980s out in the wild, it's a good day. What do we end up with today? We got Smurf in a canteen, right? Did we get anything else? I think that's it, right? Just the Smurf and the canteen. 
that's all I can think of at the moment. But hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way. Oh, and I did find this. So can't forget that. But I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.